What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be checking out two benchmarks I didn't perform in my other video due to the fact that they were just too long. So I'm going to start off with Geekbench here, it gives you some information, I'm going to go ahead and hit run benchmarks and let's see what this bad boy can do. Um, wow, what a score, 2,633, I can tell you that is a very, very good score. My Galaxy S3 was scoring about 1,800 um, or 1,700, something around that. That is a very good score. And let me just show you this in comparison to the almighty iPad 4 at 1.4, which scores a Geekbench of 1,757. So this tablet with its Exynos 5250, CPU wise is wiping the floor with the uh, iPad 4 So that's very interesting to see there The CPU is definitely better on this device than it is on the iPad Let's now go ahead and check out the GL benchmark and this is going to test out the GPU um, Of the device and then we can see if it's any better. What I'm going to do is do the Egypt HD ones and then the Egypt Classic and I'm going to compare that to the iPad 4. I'm not going to bother doing the fill rate stuff because, you know, I don't even really know what they mean. So, on screen and off screen are ticked. I'm going to go ahead and click start. This does take a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end when I get the results. So, I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, and we're back with the results and I've uh, printed out the iPhone, iPhone, iPad, Four results as well. Let me just go through these. And you see we've got 26, 36, 26, 23, 30, 50, and 87 frames per second. And let me just move this over. And here's the iPad 4s. The Nexus 10 gets 26. On the same test, the iPad gets 51.8. On the next one, the Nexus uh, 10 gets 36. The iPad gets 42.1. So you can see the iPad is just beating it in every test. So far, both of them are not supported. Here, um, this test, the Nexus 10 gets 23. Here, it gets 37. If we go ahead and hit the classic off and on screen ones, we've got four, 50 frames per second on the Nexus 10 versus 59.1 frames per second on the iPad 4. And the last one, the off-screen Egypt, we get 87 frames per second on the Nexus 10 and 132 frames per second on the iPad 4. So, you can quite clearly see the iPad 4 has, it just has a stronger um, GPU. I mean, the resolution is slightly higher on here, but that's what the off-screen tests are for. So if we take the bottom one, the 87 frames per second, the iPad gets 132.7. Um, you can see that the iPad 4 GPU is just stronger. There's no two ways about it. Um, and in total, that means it's actually one all because the Nexus 10 CPU is a lot stronger than the iPad 4s. We saw that in the Geekbench result. And in this test, we're seeing that the GPU is a lot stronger in the iPad 4 than it is in the Nexus 10. So, you know, it's one all and... There you go. Um, I mean, the iPad 4 is well above everything. I mean, on this sheet of paper, it actually is on the GL benchmarks, the iPad 4 is top of the list, number one, and the Nexus 10 is number two in the list. So this is the second best results uh, that you can get on any device. So take that into account when you're checking these out. Hope you enjoy it, guys. I'll see you all later.